Hello and welcome to the course of MSMP uh, that is material science and manufacturing process. We are in the module of machining machining and in this module we are going to uh, teach today we are going to uh, know about type of cutting tools, tool geometry and tool signature. So let's start our lecture with lecture objective. So in this lecture the lecture objectives are to understand about different type of cutting tool. We will understand about different type of cutting tool to introspect about orthogonal and oblique cutting and to get inside of tool geometry to know about different tool signature and how to use them. So let's start with cutting tool. So according to cutting action, the cutting tool can be classified in two cases. First one is left hand cutting tool, second one is right hand cutting tool. In case of a, a cutting point, so what is point? Point is a cutting tool look like this, a single point cutting tool. That single point cutting tool looks some, some, something like this. A single point cutting tool look something like this. Now. Now we will see that cutting the the point means whole cutting edge, whole cutting face is known as point. Means for a cutting tool look like this, this whole section, this whole section is known as point. Or you may say that the section which, which is responsible for cutting. So at the time of cutting, at the time of cutting, how many point is uh, connected with the workpiece that will define the um, uh, cutting point and according to that cutting point, cutting tool can be of single point cutting tool, multi point cutting tool and double point cutting tool that we will see in the later section what is what and so first left hand and right hand cutting tool. So when is uh, what is right hand cutting tool and what is left hand cutting tool? When the uh, feed is given to this direction means when you put your right hand like this and if the feed is in the direction of if the feed is in the direction of your thumb then the tool is known as then the cutting tool is known as left hand tool uh, right hand tool. So this is right hand tool when this is right hand tool when the feed is given in this side at that time this tool is known as right hand tool see you may imagine like this also if you take your right if you put your right hand if you put your right hand on the uh, top surface of the machine or machine tool then this this your right hand may look like a cutting tool may look this your right hand may look like a cutting tool and the feed is given on the thumb and again when you use your left hand and when this left hand when you put your left hand and this hand is look like the cutting tool and at that time this is the feed so this is right hand cutting tool then this case or in this case this is left hand cutting tool so these are the difference between right hand cutting tool and left hand cutting tool and this is how you understand what is left hand cutting tool and wh which one is right hand cutting tool by taking the principal cutting edge see this is the principal cutting edge and this is the auxiliary or secondary cutting edge this edge is auxiliary or secondary cutting edge what is secondary or principal cutting edge that we will come later on so now this is the uh, difference between uh, these are the uh, first two classification that is um, left hand cutting tool and right hand cutting tool so here we can see that next the cutting uh, according to the point according to the cutting point the uh, there is single point cutting tool in single point cutting tool single point cutting tool have only one cutting point the example of a single point cutting tools are uh, turning tool shaping tool 
slotting tool etc are the single point cutting tool similarly double point cutting tool means those cutting tool which have two cutting point for example drill bit so you can see the drill bit if you see the cross section of a drill bit means if you see from here this is the drill bit if you see from here you may see uh, you uh, the drill bit may look like this drill bit may look like this now at the time of cutting at the time of cutting at the same time two cutting edge this cutting edge and this cutting edge two cutting edge is is touched with the workpiece so that's why it is called double point cutting tool similarly milling cutter this is a milling cutter this is this has multiple point this has multiple cutting points see these these points are one cutting point this is one cutting point this is another cutting point so like this there is n number of cutting points and this cutting points so there is more than two cutting points so that's why it is called multiple cutting multiple multi point cut, cutting tool and this is the single point cutting tool and this is the cutting point not only the nose radius but also the whole cutting part this part is known as cutting point now we will see about orthogonal cutting and uh, oblique cutting in orthogonal cutting what is uh, what is done in orthogonal cutting cutting tool is perpendicular to the direction of the tool motion cutting tool kept perpendicular to the direction of the tool motion or uh, cutting tool is kept perpendicular to the direction of the tool motion so um, or tool feed so uh, when it is perpendicular then uh, the chip will flow perpendicularly above the rake surface or above the perpendicular to the cutting edge chip will flow perpendicular to the cutting edge and this type of orthogonal cutting is known as orthogonal cutting is known as two dimensional cutting while oblique cutting in oblique cutting what has happened there is an inclination between there is an inclination between uh, direction of cutting tool motion and uh, there is an inclination between direction of the cutting uh, direction of the tool motion so this is the direction of the tool motion and this is then uh, and the this this is the pre uh, orientation of the cutting tool so cutting tool is not placed at at placed perpendicularly to the cutting tool motion uh, so it is at an angle so uh, the chip flow the flow of chip is not perpendicular to the cutting edge and the tool has greater cutting life as compared to this type of tool oblique tool has greater cutting life as compared to uh, orthogonal tool and this oblique cutting tool this operation is known as three dimensional operation okay now we'll see the difference between oblique and orthogonal cutting this difference many times come into the mm, your semester exam but and this is so important so in case of orthogonal cutting what is there orthogonal cutting cutting angle of the tool make right angle with the direction of the motion so cutting angle makes right angle with the direction of the motion in case of oblique cutting the cutting angle of the tool does not make right angle with the direction of the motion it does not make right angle with the direction of the motion the chip flow is perpendicular to the cutting edge flow is not perpendicular to the cutting edge tool life uh, orthogonal cutting has lesser tool life but in case of oblique cutting the tool life will be higher as compared to orthogonal cutting tool the shear force per unit area is high because it increases heat per unit area so which increases heat per unit area and shear force in case of oblique cutting is low that means heat is also low this cutting chip flow over the tool or in orthogonal cutting chip flow over the tool in uh, oblique cutting chip flow along in sideways so in case of oblique cutting chip flow will be in the sideways and in orthogonal cutting surface finish is poor but in case of uh, oblique cutting good surface finish may occur the cutting edge uh, 
is longer than the um, age of cut cutting edge may or may not be longer than the age of cut and to mutually perpendicular cutting force act on the work piece in case of orthogonal cutting but in case of oblique cutting three mutually perpendicular force are involved so that's why it is called uh, oblique cutting is called 3d cutting operation and orthogonal cutting is called 2d cutting operation so now we will see about tool geometry so what is tool geometry? Tool geometry is nothing but it's a distinction of the tool and how the tool look and what is the perfect shape of the tool and so that it can give us maximum productivity. So in the tool we can see a, a single point cutting tool. This is only single point tool geometry of a single point cutting tool is in our syllabus. So we will study that only. So, in the single point cutting tool, we can see the, uh, in this figure, we can see the distinguished part of the single point cutting tool. So, first what is there? First there is shank. Shank is nothing but the body of the tool. This is the body of the tool. This body goes into the tool holder and so that's why it is the holding part of a cutting tool. That is shank. Opposite to the shank, the part is known as, just opposite to the shank, the part is known as base. This is the base. Okay. Just adjacent to the shank. Next is face. What is face? Fa face is nothing but the upper portion. The upper portion of the cutting tool. This is face. And, uh, and adjacent to the face. Side of the face. This uh, uh, portion are known as flank. There is two types of flank. One is major flank another is minor flank major flank is the intersection between face and uh, intersection uh, um, major flank is the um, is the uh, major flank if, if the feed direction is in this side means the uh, tool is if the tool is our uh, Hmm. If 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 this is uh, this is side cutting edge angle, then um, then after the side cutting cutting edge angle there is major flank, and if it is th this is end cutting edge angle, be just beside end cutting edge angle, the flank will be minor flank, and this radius this radius is known as nose, and just opposite to nose the point is known as heel. So these are the distinguished part and this face, this face is known as rake face and this is uh, what I have said, this is flank. So uh, these are the uh, general nomenclature of the tool geometry. Now we will see about the tool geometry angle. There are several angles in the tool geometry. So first there is rake angle. Rake angle, the rake angles are mainly used for Rake angles are used for chip flow. So easy flow of chip can be given by the rake angle. And rake angle, there are two types of rake angle. One is side rake angle, one is back, back rake angle. So two angles are there. Next, there is relief angle. Relief angle, the work of relief angle is to give clearance between machine surface and the workpiece. So this clearance is given by the relief angle. There is two type, two relief angle. First one is side relief angle. Second one is end relief angle. So side relief angle and end relief angle both uh, remove both uh, resist the possibility. Both remove the possibility of getting um, getting rubbed with the workpiece. And there are two type of cutting edge angle. First one is end cutting edge angle. Second one is side cutting edge angle. F and in case of end cutting edge angle or side cutting edge angle, the uh, things are there. The first uh, that mainly depends on the principal and secondary cutting edge. So what is principal cutting edge? Principal cutting edge is nothing but in case of C, in case of this left hand cutting, this edge is this edge is principal cutting edge. Principal cutting edge means the edge which is uh, which is mm, in the direction of the feed. 
so that is principal cutting edge so in the principal cutting edge what will be there side rack, uh, side cutting edge angle will be there and in case of end cutting edge angle uh, end rack, uh, end cutting edge angle will be there so this is the tool geometry of the angles now we will see about the definition of those angles so first uh, and the uh, view by which we can see those angles so from the top view from the top view like uh, here if we insert a plate here then what we can see we can see side cutting edge angle and end cutting edge angle the definition of side cutting edge the angle formed uh, between the cutting edge end cutting edge and line perpendicular to the shank line perpendicular to the shank this is the line perpendicular to the shank this is the shank and this is the line perpendicular to the shank and this is the end cutting edge so angle between them is known as end cutting edge angle similarly angle uh, uh, angle between the line parallel to the shank this is the line parallel to the shank and this is side cutting edge angle that would give us side cutting edge angle this is side cutting edge that will give us side cutting edge angle and in between them the, this is nose radius and this nose radius can be ex mm, uh, can be given as nose angle also so this angle is known as nose angle now in case of rake angle if, if we see from the side if we see from the side means we insert a uh, our mm, our uh, observation plate here then we can see the shape like this so if we put this shape like this then here we can see three angle this angle this angle which is with the perpendicular which is with the this angle this is the parallel this is the parallel to the shank line and the, from the parallel to the shank line this angle this angle is known as back rack angle and this angle which is with the perpendicular to the uh, to the base that would give us end relief angle and the angle between them this angle is known as this angle is known as wedge angle or lip angle so depending upon the wedge angle and lip angle this wedge angle and lip angle depends upon the rake angle only back rake angle and the ba value of the rake angle can be positive negative and zero that we will show, la show later on so next we will see side rake angle this for seeing this side rake angle and side relief angle for seeing this we have to see the workpiece from the front side from the front side like this and by cutting this portion out we can see a face like this and if we straighten it up then this angle then this angle that means this angle is side rake angle and this is your this is your side relief angle so these are the different angle and this angle the and the uh, main reason main application of this angle is to give strength to the workpiece first uh, give strength to the cutting tool first secondly to remove the material more efficiently these are the work of the tool geometry or work of this angle and according to this angle and one this six angle and one nose radius a tool can be specified this that is why it mainly the tool is specified in the terms of angles in the terms of angles so those angles are uh, mainly from the angles uh, angles from this tool geometry now those angles can be classified can be designated by specific signatures those are known as tool signature and the tool signature there are four type of tool signature first one is asa system second one is ors system asa means american standard organization standard association system that ASA is very useful this system is very useful for regrinding and inspection and this system is also called tool in hand system in case of ORS system ORS system means orthogonal rake system 
and it is mainly used in Germany, Czechoslovakia and other European countries. This is mainly used for analysis of metal cutting. So the ASA system is not suitable for the application of analysis application for the analysis of metal cutting. But uh, ASA system is uh, can be used for regrinding and inspection operation while ORS system can be used in case of um, in case of metal cutting analysis. Next there are two modern technique of more modern system. First one is uh, NRS system that is called normal rec system. This is the new Indian standard organization system in India. Right now this system NRS system is has been followed and here in case of NRS system you can see that each and every angle are true angle that means there is no imaginary angles are there in the tool designation or tool, tool signature and the MRS in case of MRS that is known as maximum rec system and the here concept of maximum rec plane has been introduced. So maximum rec plane means the angle, rec angle will be maximum so that the easily uh, chip formation can be done very easily. So uh, the uh, in our syllabus or the, um, the system of importance are two that are ASA and ORS system. So we will study about ASA and ORS system only. So see in case of ASA system there are three planes. ASA system is tool uh, in hand system and it is also called machine reference system because the first there are I am saying that there are three planes. First plane is this reference plane pi r, second is machine longitudinal plane pi x and next is cross feed, uh, machine longitudinal feed and next is machine transverse feed uh, plane that is pi y. Now we will see the uh, different six angle and one nose radius. So by knowing this, we can generate the tool uh, dimension or tool uh, signature. So for here, let's see here, see here this this angle. Uh, this is the cutting tool. This is the cutting tool, and this this uh, in this side feed is given. So as in this side feed is uh, given, this cutting edge is known as side cutting edge and this cutting edge is known as end cutting edge. So angle between the horizontal and side cutting edge is known as uh, side cutting edge angle. So this is side cutting edge angle and this is end cutting edge angle and this angle is end cutting edge angle. Now if we see, if we see from this xx means if we see the workpiece from here if we see the system from here what we can see we can see the work uh, tool like this this we can see in the pi x plane by uh, and the pi x plane means we just put a bar we just put a slice here we just cut this uh, lower part out and we are seeing the upper part only so what we can see we can uh, see like this and this angle then when, when we can see it like this this alpha x and gamma y are the so gamma x is the back rec angle and alpha x is the sorry gamma x is the end or side rec angle and alpha x is the side clearance angle now if we see from the front means if we see from here if we see from here by cutting this um, cutting through this y y plane then you can we can see this is alpha y that means this angle this angle is end cutting a, a, a end clearance angle or back clearance angle and this angle is known as known as back rake angle so uh, so this is in uh, uh, pi y plane so pi r pi x pi y th all three planes are in the reference with the machine so that's why ASA system is known as machine reference system and the tool signature will look like the tool signature will look like your 
uh, first there will come the gamma y gamma x alpha y alpha x sigma e and sigma s and r that r is those radius that will be in inches so if we say the terms that is first back rectangle next side rectangle next back clearance angle side clearance angle end cutting edge angle side cutting edge angle and then up to at last there is uh, uh, nose radius that nose radius will be also be in inch now in case of ORS system what will be there in case of ORS system then and, uh, that is known as this ORS system is known as uh, tool reference system the machining is not required so there is three plane cutting plane an orthogonal plane and a reference plane so orthogonal plane uh, cutting plane is in the, uh, the cutting plane is in the direction of the cutting principal cutting edge that is sigma uh, sig, uh, in this phi range this is phi and auxiliary cutting edge will be the edge uh, means and the principal cutting edge is the is the cutting edge in the direction of feed the, uh, this is the principal cutting edge so this is the principal cutting edge so on that principal cutting edge lies one plane that plane is known as cutting plane c pi c and perpendicular to that perpendicular to that a plane uh, lies that plane is known as orthogonal cutting edge or orthogonal plane and and with perpendicular to these two perpendicular to these two that means orthogonal and pi c there exists a plane that plane is known as reference plane okay so this this uh, picture is drawn in reference plane and this is orthogonal in the reference plane what we can see we can see uh, principal cutting edge and uh, uh, auxiliary principal cutting edge and nose radius these three things we can um, see in the uh, in the um, reference plane now in the orthogonal plane orthogonal plane means we are seeing uh, we are cutting the workpiece from here and seeing and by that what we can see we can see that only orthogonal rake angle can be seen this orthogonal rake angle can be seen and this gamma zero uh, that means gamma zero orthogonal rake angle can be seen and orthogonal clearance angle can be seen and in case of here this end relief angle in case of uh, pi c cutting edge uh, that end relief angle phi um, end relief angle and the um, um, uh, um, yes in case of here end relief angle can be found now for finding out for finding out our auxiliary orthogonal clearance angle that for that a auxiliary plane is imagined and that auxiliary plane in that auxiliary plane we can see this alpha zero dash value and that's why we can say that this alpha that zero value is not a true angle it is a imaginary angle so the tool signature for ORS system will be like this first there will be inclination angle next there will be orthogonal rake angle next there will be uh, our uh, or, mm, mm, auxiliary uh, oh, next uh, next uh, there will be orthogonal clearance angle next there will be orthogonal auxiliary auxiliary orthogonal clearance angle next auxiliary cutting edge angle next uh, side cutting edge angle and r that is in mm so these are the tool signature so uh, so thank you for listening and in this lecture so far we have covered the basics of uh, tool geometry and uh, types of tool and tool signature so uh, i think this will be enough for your syllabus and if you need to know anything else you may ask why on the live class thank you